Hey, what's up? John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I got a book review for you today. This is a book that I've been sitting on for a while. It's called Mind Hacking. And I actually interviewed the author of this book, uh, Sir John Hargrave. You can check out the interview from here. It was, it was done quite a while ago before his book launched, but I never actually got around to reading the book. I, I, I apologize, I'm sorry. <laughs> But you know, that's, that's, I have a lot of books on, on my schedule and I usually don't read paper books because I usually either read on my Kindle or I'm listening to the audio version, the audible version of, of, of a book. By the way, if you want to check out all the book reviews I've done, I do like probably like two to three books a week. Depends on the week, but you can, you can check it out here. Check out the playlist there. Anyway, this book, Mind Hacking, I finally got around to reading and it's a really good book actually. So. This book is, is interesting. I think that it depends on who you are on whether or not you'll get a huge value from this book or not. So this book is basically, I think you could think of this as self-development, like personal development, geared towards programmers and really technology professionals. But really, I think for programmers, this is, this is good because the language is written in terms that programmers will understand and some of the humor and some of the stories. In fact, what's interesting about this book is, I mean, there's, I'll be honest with you, there's a lot of books that I get and a lot of people send me books and I, I, just, I just trash for them, I, I don't even read them. And I thought about doing that with this one, even though I like John, you know, that, and he was on here, but to, I, I'm, I'm pretty honest, like I'm not gonna read a book that is not gonna value me and I'm not gonna do a review on it and, and promote a book that's not valuable. So I was skimming through it, I was like, oh, okay, you know, whatever. And then I actually read the first chapter in the book and it starts off with this really interesting story. And I was like, wow, this is a, a pretty interesting, you know, storytelling approach. And it also started off with the prologue with some code. I don't know if you can see the code here in it, but it, anyway, I don't know if the focus will, will pick that up. Now I've probably screwed up the whole focus for the video and I have, oh, there we go. <laughs> so anyway, he starts off with a really interesting story about the FBI raiding his house and that got me hooked, it really did. And one of the things that he did that's really interesting with this book is that every chapter really starts off with a pretty interesting story. He, he delves a lot into kind of geek programmer folklore and stuff like that and, and stories and movies that you're probably familiar with. Things like The Matrix, which was, it was one of my favorite movies. I'll, I'll be honest, I'll be honest. But it, it actually has some really good information too. So what you can think about is this is a very kind of basic self-help book, but it's geared in the language that programmers would understand. So a lot of the techniques, a lot of the things in here are things that I think you could probably find in 50 other personal development self-help type of books, but those books are not geared towards an analytical logical mindset where, the, where these ones are, right? So this, or where this book is. So I think there's a lot of value in this, especially if you're interested in personal development, if you've kind of felt like self-development is a little bit out there and you're like, I, I don't know why you're watching this channel. <laughs> That's what this whole channel is about. It's about personal development, simple programmer. It's all about growing yourself. So I, I don't know, but you know, maybe you just stumbled upon this. But if you're, if that kind of gives you a bad taste in your mouth, check out the book Mind Hacking. I think that that you'll find that it's valuable. Now, if you're already familiar with a lot of this stuff, it's going to be pretty basic. It's not going to be for the people that are big Tony Robbins fans that have you know, read a lot of really, uh, a lot of the classic literature in the, in the personal development space because you're already gonna be familiar with it. You know, it, it was still interesting, I'll tell you, because of the stories, it was still an interesting read for me. And I, there were definitely some things that, different way of thinking about some of those same concepts, right? right? So, you know, reprogramming your mind, going through your loops, right? We have these loops in, in a lot of self-development terminology, we call it limiting beliefs, right? And this is what we believe about ourselves. That's not necessarily true. And this book helps you, it gives you some practical techniques to reprogram those loops so that you don't keep on holding those, those same limiting beliefs that can, can really affect you. Sorry, my, my ears, <laughs> for some reason, when I do like a long workout, sometimes my ears get all messed up and it, it's like, it's like they pop or something. I have no idea, but I can hear myself in my eardrums. It's it's freaking annoying. So it makes it really hard to to talk. Anyway, 
I like the book. Like I said, it might not be for everyone, but it's a great gentle introduction to self-development, personal development for programmers specifically. So I would check it out if you're if you're at all interested. And the stories are really interesting. And, and if you already are doing a lot of personal development stuff and you wanna see kind of a good example of how to take something and really apply it to your audience. Is, I mean, the, the biggest thing actually that I'm getting from the book is that it's how to speak to the programming audience in a way to take the, the material and, and gear it towards that. He's done a phenomenal job, better than, than I've done in a lot of places, you know, but you know, I think my style is a little bit different, but I'm, I'm definitely gonna be taking some, some, uh, something out of this book and applying that to, to what I do here at Simple Programmer. All right, so check out the book, Mind Hacking by Sir John Hargrave. You can uh, get it on Amazon, obviously. And if you like this video, if you wanna see more of my book reviews and other videos I do, click that subscribe button below and I will talk to you next time, take care. Oh, by the way, if you want one of these shirts, you can get it here. <laughs> All right, take care.